Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn something about special shells in VBA. I think they are very useful in your day to day work. So like uh, I do have a sheet over here. So over here there are few empty rows as well, empty cells as well. So I have to remove those empty rows by using VBA. So even though we can do the same thing through for loop like uh, but i think it will be uh, it will be a time consuming task for you but we do have a small database so i don't think so it would hardly matter over here but if we do have a large volume of data then it's matter a lot so in that case it's be good if you use special cell instead of for loop uh, for loop to delete the blank rows so let's see how it can be work over here like straightforward i'm going to vba editor okay so these are the previous results so i'm deleting this thing so straightforward i'm just typing the code over here like sub special cells or like remove blank rows fine so let's suppose this is a sheet 3 so I'm saying specifically for sheets 3 sheets 3 what so sheets 3 or you can say active sheets or whatever it is 3 dot cells dot special cells so like if you see nothing is been popping up so if you are facing any difficulty why it's not been pop up so you can do one thing just press cells dot special cells and whatever the value you want to take whatever the parameter you want to take like I'm looking for blanks dot select but I don't want to select I have to delete the entire rows fine so I can do one thing I can just show them like I do have data in this way I'm saying look in in a column and wherever you will find blank cells select those cells and delete entire row fine so mean to say I'm looking in column C L U M N columns 1 and column 1 looking for blank cells and I'm just showing to select uh, okay as of now I'm just selecting it let's see how it's been working so if you see all the blank cells get selected see. Fine. so my next task is to remove those cells not only cells I want the entire row so I can do one thing selection dot entire row dot delete let's see see so if you see that all the blank rows get disappear no blank rows so apart from that like first of all I am selecting and after that deleting so you can do one more thing just remove this thing remove selection as well so that's it only one line code to delete all the blank rows so like uh, I'm looking for one more sheets okay so I'm doing it another ways like let's see if it's working or not so like I do have a blanks over there I do have few blanks over here as well so let's see if it's been working or not fine so the same code go over there go over there and see done so I think it's more faster than using for loop fine so there are other ways also to use a special cells like there are other feature you can use over there 
okay so i'm taking one more example like i do have few function in different different sheets so i'm removing this thing like i do have functions over here so might be possible i do have function over here as well like few functions are there so could be possible that i do have a functions on a sheet or not so like over here i do have so on this sheet i don't have any on this sheet i don't have any functions okay have have so i don't think so we do have is so mean to say my concept is to look for each and every sheets so if that particular sheet contains formula or cells that contain formula it gets highlighted so let's see how it can be work so let's suppose i do have 20 sheets or 25 sheets so i have to run a loop for each and every sheets so for that sub highlight function so let's see how it can be work so i have to start from first sheet for let's suppose i is equals to 1 2 i don't know how many sheets are there so for that i can use one more function so worksheets dot count oh, count so count so i can do one more thing here over here like i can just put it over there i can put it over there take its value like it would be n so i have to run my loop till n so pressing next i whatever so i'm saying sheets i i'm passing the parameters dot select so in that sheet so active sheet dot cells dot special cells cells dot special cells which cells i want formulas dot select or i don't if you want to if you don't want to select you can directly mention like formula dot interior dot color index whatever it is like if you want to make it 16 so i want it gets highlighted by the color index 16 so nothing else i think so okay one selects okay then two then three and five so i can mention one more thing on error resume next so if there is an error going forward over there and last i'm um, mentioning a uh, dot clear so whatever it is so let's see how it's been working so like i'm pressing f8 i'm running one by one so n mean to say we do have 23 sheets so sheet 1 gets selected sheet selected so i think nothing would be there so it i might be there so it gets highlighted so i don't know this where it was anyways so next coming over here okay making it synchronize so if you see like these are get highlighted so if you want to make it bold as well or make its background so whatever you want you can just mention the same thing over here so i can make it five i think that will be easy for us to identify it will be i think uh, blue color so if you see get highlighted get highlighted get highlighted and so on so i'm just running it by pressing f8 f5 see all the sheets get highlighted and their formula sorry formula get highlighted and so this way you can find out uh, the same thing you can do it for comments as well you can the same thing for conditional formatting as well like over do, uh, do we do have few comments over there i want to highlight the comments the same thing i can mention the same thing so instead of uh, instead of taking formulas i can take i can take comments okay 
I'm typing this entire row once again. Cells dot special cells dot which one comments comments dot interior dot color index is equals to okay I'm making it tense same way you can if you want to make it the the phone so you can mention phone name phone size whatever you want to take okay so let's see I think it will be visible for you. See, so it gets green in color. So green, all the cells which contains comments, it gets highlighted. So I think this is a good practice to use uh, special cells. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.